Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so to Grimsby. And yeah, we're almost halfway through the season in League 2. Knots it second in the table. Uh, only being denied top spot by Luton on goal difference. We obviously played Luton last weekend at Kenilworth Road, drawing one all. Grimsby have won three games on the bounce. I think they sit 11th in the table. Correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, by no means is today going to be an easy game. It's going to be a very, very tough game. And if I look or, or look glum or down, or if you see me at the ground and I'm looking like looking a bit sad, um, it's been a very, very tough week. If you know me, you'll understand what has happened. So yeah, let's hope Knox can lift my mood with another good performance and another win to keep us in touching distance with Luton. Come on, Knox. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Right, so here we are, Woodhouse Station, taking the train today because... Uncle has got a, what is it, a lunch dinner thing with Alan Hardy. So yeah, two successive games on the train this week and next week against Cambridge. Right, so we have made it into Nottingham eventually. That is the most packed I've ever seen um, that train from Woodhouse to Nottingham. It was rammed. Like 13 of us in the doorway all just stop. It is absolutely packed. But anyways, we've made it, despite all the issues <laughs> that troubled us on the train. Yeah, anyways, it's only just like, I don't know, like 10 to 2 at the minute, so we're very early. So here we are at the, 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 the city of football and the home of football, Meadow Lane. We've already seen a few Grimsby fans around Nottingham, saw some on the train already, some were... Some like Mansfield would have station on already on the train. Yeah. It's I don't know about today, it's gonna be a very tough game. Yeah, Grimsby have won three on the trot. We're unbeaten in got no idea how many games. Keep running at home and drawing away at the minute. Yeah, so tough game today. I honestly think Elliot Hewitt has just walked past us, he looked exactly like him. As of course we come on the train, we didn't like hear the team news very well out. It's the same team as last Saturday, and the same team as pretty much normal if you were in midfield. They're all the same defence, fits and still in goal, even though Adam Collin is training um, in the warm today. It's good to see him back, he's been out for quite a while. But yeah, normal team, three points, hopefully. Come on, boys. Just under half an hour gone, it's not nil. Grimsby you know, it's not been a great half of football. Very few chances at each end, if I'm being honest. Not to have a free kick in their own half. Not really greatly inspiring at the moment. Anyways, it's half time, it's not nil. Grimsby nil. It has been one of the worst half of footballs I've ever seen. Might be a bit of an exaggeration, but this half has been really bad. Um, Grimsby about a vegetable it just and that not it's really not been great at all. Simon, your half time yeah. verdict on what has not been a great first half. Well but with a bit of luck we'll start soon because <laughs> not very much happened really. They had the better of the chances I think that half. There's, there's a couple of scrambles where really I thought they had scored. 
Um, we didn't really create a great deal. I'm not sure they keep us actually had a safe to make yet. Um, but as we say, this is becoming a broken record, isn't it? We always play better second half. And I don't reckon the draws are disaster today. They're having a good nick. We'll keep the unbeaten record going. We're still way further than four. Let's see what happens. Well, I'll start the second point. We've just passed the hour mark. This has been really woeful. It's all. The refs lost the game. Lots of second to every ball. I think we're going to give it a good way. Every chance of trying to score a goal. Not good enough today. We really, we really haven't woke up yet. Yes. Oh, just a twat with a whistle. Duffy, go on. Steady. The 80. How good to do it, no idea. Fifth minute. It's not nil, Grimsby nil. Still. Oh. And still just. It, it really has not been a great game today. I've been moaning a lot of knocks. I've been second to two. Second to the ball two in a time. We've been not been applying much pressure. We haven't looked ourselves today at all. Put some more dance in minute heroics. But we haven't lost all out. We haven't lost much because um, I think Africans have lost, which means we actually extend our advantage in the automatic promotion race. Go on, Simon. What's your thoughts on the game? They, they looked. At, they were a Russell Slade team, weren't they? They were set up well. They did a good job. They didn't. Right at the end, Damiobi could have made himself an even bigger hero, couldn't he? But I take a point. There's a lot worse teams in the league than Grimsby. Um, yeah, we're well clear of fourth. That'll do. Onwards. Right, it's full time. It's nil nil. It's not nil. Grimsby nil. Um, I'm that cold. I can barely hold this camera, phone, whatever. And it's freezing. Left me. But yeah. Um, not a great performance by Notch. Um, it is some pot the two positives take out of it. Number one, it's our first clean sheet since the Newport home game, and number two, uh, we haven't lost any ground in the automatic promotion race. Um, I think we're six points clear of the autumn of uh, fourth place. Um, yeah, but overall not a great performance. Um, Yates and Kirill weren't that great, I think, today. Uh, Paul Cridge and Grant didn't really have an impact on the game. Amiobi, in the last minute, had a great, great chance. Um, I think we missed Liam Noble today. Um, and I, I honestly, I wouldn't mind him seeing Rob Nilsson come on, someone who can put the ball on the ground and just is more, generally sometimes more calm, um, more calm on the ball. But yeah, it's, nil, it's finished 0-0, but we are still 
second in the table. So we are back from Meadow Lane, not nil, Grimsby nil, the final score. We're still second in the table, um, but Luton won today out at Forest Green, so Luton are, uh, Luton are two points clear at the top. Yeah, a very dour goalless draw. Not, not not great. Both sets of centre backs, I think, today did their job very well. Brisley and Duffy for us, and Clock and Collins for them. You know, won everything virtually, and won everything in, in each other's half, cancelling each other out, and there was not much in the game. Grimsby probably edged it a bit first half, and we didn't really get going until about the 65th minute, but we just had. We just had, we just lacked a cutting edge today. I think no boy O'Connor could have done a job in midfield, and Amiobi had a such a good chance in the 90th minute. So so good, and oh the header, it's a great header. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic leap. It's a great header, and it goes wide. It's so agonising. It, it was cold. It was a it was a cold day, and it's a really scrappy proper proper League Two game as well. Scrappy. Um, Russell Slade setting up his side like, you know, like a Rus like he does, like Russell Slade does. You know, the physical. They're going to give you a battle. You know, and not just not just lack something in front of goal today. But um, yeah, we're still we're still six points clear. Um, whilst we are second, we actually properly are because um, we are like I said, two points behind Luton. But we're still six points clear. Um, a clean sheet, the first clean sheet, like I said, we the first clean sheet we've had since the Newport home game. Yeah, but there's some there's some good chances to get some more points in, the, in three points next week. We got Cambridge, who I believe yes they lost again today against Newport, um, and they can't they can't score for, at all. I think they've only scored 18 goals this season. And then we got Morecambe on Boxing Day, another good chance to pick up three points. I think they've lost against they've lost as well today against Barnet. So there are some um, opportunities coming up for Knots to pick up three points and extend our gap over the playoff places. But it's a it's one a great performance. You know the uh, the midfield wasn't up to it today. You know Dickinson had a bit of a bit of a wobble sometimes. Tuttle, um, he did his best to try and get forward and help and like try and keep um, Dembele quiet. And Dembele, he was, he was he did well Dembele for Grimsby, but yeah, just the um, the end product it for both sides was lacking. Yeah, the mi midfield one great. Grant and Hawkers, like I said, didn't have much of an impact on the game. Stead kept slipping over. Uh, yeah, it just wasn't Stead today at all. Amiobi had a, like two or three good headers, but some of them weren't clear cut. But like I said, the like with one in the ninetieth minute, oh, it could have been. It could have been three more points. But it's not a great performance. But somehow we've come out of it with um, we've not lost anything in the race of promotion. So yeah, we're still second. We're still heading in the right direction, and we've got a few good games coming up to um, extend the gap over the playoff places. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Um, stay subscribed if you already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. Respect your elders. And to